Welcome back to our um, lessons or tutorials for absolute beginners. Uh, that's learning programming um, uh, in C sharp. In the previous uh, lesson, lesson six, we we wanted to look at if else constructs, but uh, because I realized we have missed um, uh, a special type of Boolean expression, so we used lesson six to look at the special types of Boolean expressions. Uh, the reason why I um, made us look at those special types of uh, Boolean expressions is because they are quite important. Boolean expressions are very important when using the if-else construct. So um, I'll just go ahead and open Visual Studio and open our, this is the program we worked on in lesson six. So yes, uh, the if-else construct. Um, before we start writing code, I just want to show us uh, something that we've been doing right from the beginning of uh, our classes. All the programs we have been writing, they have been straight, like the execution of the program has always been straight to the point. That is, um, it just goes straight from first statement to next statement to next statement. So, for example, what I mean by that is, Look at this. Remember, this is where execution starts. I always say execution starts from inside this method, static void mean. So from this, where this curly bracket starts, um, that's the beginning of this uh, method. This is where the curly bracket starts. And if you follow these dotted lines, the dotted lines, you don't actually type the dotted lines. They are guidelines uh, written by or uh, displayed by Visual Studio just to show you that this um, closing curly bracket closes this uh, curly bracket. That brings us to what we call scope. That's, uh, let me just open Notepad. And, um, uh, uh, that brings us to what we call scope. Remember, I, I introduced scope. I, I, I didn't introduce it. I didn't really say anything. I didn't give any information about it, but I told you later in uh, our lessons, we're going to look at scope. So before if else construct, I would like us to just uh, give a brief uh, explanation of this, what this scope is. Um, scope is actually like, um, it, 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 it's actually very similar to the English, um, the English definition of what scope is. So it is it's just a way of saying um, this is um, it is just like marking boundaries, right? It's like marking boundaries of where certain uh, events or certain um, objects occur in your program. Um, I know that's a very vague definition, but in programming, um, what scope actually means is is just like. Um, this is where a scope starts. So, for example, now, uh, anywhere you see a curly bracket, that's this kind of bracket, which calls, not the normal bracket, not this type, this particular type, the curly bracket. Anywhere you see a curly bracket, that is the mark or the beginning of a particular scope. Okay? Now, when you mark a scope, you say, this is where this scope starts. This is where the scope ends. You end it with the closing curly bracket. So in uh, C sharp, like in Visual Studio, whenever you put your cursor immediately after uh, one of the curly brackets, like this one, the closing curly bracket, it will highlight that curly bracket, and then it will highlight the curly bracket that is its match. That is. That is uh, the beginning of that scope. Now, scope can be seen as whatever you define within here. Okay, that's in between from here, wherever, whatever you write, whatever code you write in between this curly bracket, that's where this curly bracket starts, anything inside it and inside that's before the ending of this so anything from here to here lie between the scope marked by this curly brackets 
okay i just hope that makes sense now let me open notepad and just try to explain that more um i need uh i need something to okay okay so what i mean is you see this is the open curly bracket right whenever you see this curly bracket it, it marks a scope it's saying anything inside here is within that scope now if if i type some uh suppose this is code okay let's assume this is code and i type another okay let's say this is a statement i end it with a semicolon i type another statement i end it with a semicolon now when i put a closing curly bracket that is this one you see it's, it's different from this one this is the open curly bracket this is the closing curly bracket these these two statements now lie within the scope okay anything i declare inside these two curly brackets are going to exist only between uh, uh those curly brackets let's go back to uh, our visual studio and and see what i mean now if you look at this uh static void main this is where the curly bracket starts right this bool, this is a declaration. Remember what a declaration is? A declaration is just a creation of a variable. Okay? This is a variable, right? Now, uh, oh, sorry. Actually, a declaration is not just um, the creation of a variable. You can actually declare a method. So, uh, not just a variable. We'll see methods later, okay? Um, uh, for now, let's just say... Um, a declaration is a declaration of variables since we've only looked at variables we declare this a third boolean okay now this a third boolean is a is a variable it will only exist between this curly brackets okay these curly brackets as the open curly bracket and this closing curly bracket because it will only exist within this scope okay this scope of your program right uh, the highlighted area this highlighted area that is the only place that this a third boolean is going to exist the moment this curly bracket uh is written and you try to write code suppose i try to write something here notice what happens if i write a third boolean here suppose i say it's um i try to say it's equal to something for example uh h um let's say uh false for example that i'm trying to use this variable okay i'm trying to use this variable however the variable does not exist look at the um the uh uh what do you call it the error message given to you the name a third boolean does not exist in the current context okay because it has already ended its existence this um closing curly bracket has already ended the existence of this uh variable okay so you can only use this variable within this scope that is within this curly bracket where it was declared okay um, I hope that makes sense. Um, I'm just trying to explain what scope is. So whatever variable you declare within the, a particular scope of uh, a particular scope is only going to exist within that scope of the program. Okay. Now, um, for now, that is what you should think. Of course, there's always an exception in in, in programming, as you later find out. That is because of um, the what we call um, the accessors. We call them uh, accessors. They are like uh, public, private, uh, protected. Because of those accessor keywords, you can actually you later realize that um, you can actually create what we call global variables. Now, global variables exist outside um, the scope which you declare them anyway. For now, don't bother yourself too much about. It. Just know that what whichever uh, variable, because this is a local variable, okay? This is a local variable. Whatever variable you declare within um, within a particular scope of your program is only going to exist 
within that scope that means that you, you are only allowed you can only use that variable within um that scope okay good <sighs> now next let's go ahead and try to explain um or try to introduce the if else statement i also had to go through this because um, the if else statement has what we call scopes okay it has it actually has um, okay actually it has um, it can have more than two scopes but there are two major scopes in the if else statement all right let's look at how the if else statement is um, I'll just go ahead and uh, I think we are fine we can delete this okay we don't really these was uh, this was actually used for explanation. So I go out, go ahead and delete that. Now, in our programs, we've always been going st from statement one to statement two to statement three to statement four, like that, like that, until the program ends. However, you are not limited to that kind of structure when you are writing your program. You can actually write your program like this. Look at uh, this. Um, okay, let's use a console. Console just to show you what i uh okay let's let's not use the um let's not use the console keyword let's keep it simple okay let's say int that i'm declaring an integer variable um let's call it x i'm calling the variable x and i'm assigning aha i think i didn't uh, show you you could actually declare a variable and assign it a value at the same time that in one straight statement what we've been doing um before is we first declare the variable like this int x and then we say x equals say 5 for example okay now um this this is correct obviously but um what i'm trying to do well, what i'm trying to explain is you can actually execute those two statements in one so you declare int x and then at the same line or in the same statement you can actually assign a value to it so the previous uh code i just wrote is the same with this i have declared x and i'm assigning 5 into the x variable all in one line okay that's allowed good then um we can actually write a program like this if okay uh you open aha immediately you write your if ah, maybe before I, we even go ahead and write let me just write the um the construct for you so you see what it looks like um, let's go to notes file okay so this is what the if else statement looks like you write if okay if is a keyword so you write if um you open a normal bracket this that's the normal bracket you open it um i'd advise whenever you open a normal bracket just go ahead and close it for programming convention it's 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 a very good um uh, way of writing program um, you always close um, a bracket you open so you don't forget that bracket later so um, when you write the if what you're going to write inside that uh, bracket is going to be a boolean a boolean expression expression okay um, not that you're going to write a boolean expression like this in your code but um, I'll, I'll explain I'll, I'll, I'll explain what that means it just means that you will substitute this boolean expression with a real boolean expression inside here okay that is going to be your condition and then after that you open that you can write it on the next line you can write it on this line but I always like for convention write it on the next line open a curly bracket remember what, what I said this starts a scope okay this is the scope of uh, if this boolean expression evaluates to true, okay, um, you open a curly bracket. I like to always close it immediately. Now you can actually remember this is a scope. What you do, what you do, you just created is a scope. You can um, write statement. So you can write your um, statement one, okay, statement two, uh, statement two. Uh, uh, of course you're not going to write it exactly like this these, these are just like um, uh, explanations okay they're just like short way of telling you that this is a statement okay you actually write a real command here you write another real command 
and then uh, you can write anyway let me just add a dot 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 meaning um, that's three dots meaning you can write as many statements as you like in between these um, curly uh, brackets that's inside this code you can write whatever code you want to write in there and then after that you follow it with an else. Now this else, notice, is coming outside this curly bracket, okay? Let's go ahead and remove that line, okay? After this curly bracket, then I always like to do it in the next line. Of course, you can start this curly bracket here, but um, I always prefer writing in the next line, okay? So you close, that's the open curly bracket and the close curly bracket. And then you can also have statement one, Okay, statement two, statement two, and you can have as many statements as you like inside here as well. So um, this is the else block. We actually call it a block. This is the else block. This is the uh, if block. Okay. Now, what happens is this Boolean expression. Remember what a Boolean expression is. It, it always evaluates to either true or false. If this Boolean expression evaluates to true, this block is going to be executed, okay? Whatever code you write here are going to be executed sequentially. So this will be executed statement 1 will be executed, statement 2 will be executed. All the other statements you write within this block is going to be, uh, are going to be executed. And then the program is going to ignore this uh, block, okay? The whole of this block is going to be ignored. That's if this Boolean expression evaluates to true, okay? However, if this Boolean expression happens to evaluate to false, okay? This block is going to be ignored. And then this uh, block is going to be executed. That's the else block is going to be executed. So this will be uh, executed, statement 1 here will be executed, 2 here will be executed. Any other statement you write are going to be executed within this block. And this uh, whole um, block is going to be ignored. That is if this Boolean expression evaluates to false. Okay, let's go ahead and write uh, our if-else um, statement just to show you uh, how it uh, works. And then we're going to run it and see what happens. Okay, so we're going to say if x is less than, remember this Boolean expression is less than 10. Remember, this is going to evaluate to a Boolean expression. Even though x is an integer, 10 is an integer, we looked at that in the previous lesson. Okay, okay. Um, we're going to open the curly bracket down here. So this is the else block. I'm going to write only one statement, console.print, uh, sorry, <laughs> not console.print, um, it's console. Um, ah, forgotten the method, I think it's console.out, exactly, console.out, console.out, um, uh, the value, we're going to write the value of x, is um, less than 10 okay okay so this is a statement remember this is a statement uh, why am I having the um, why am I having the okay sorry it's not out console dot right line that's the correct method console dot right line exactly um, console dot write line the value of x is less than 10 okay then we're going to write an else block here so you write your else and then underneath you open your curly bracket uh, Visual Studio has closed it for me automatically which is good I I always like to space it out so the curly closing curly bracket is on the next line and inside here I'm going to write console dot write line um, the value of x is greater than 10 okay good now look at this program 
Okay, this is the end of the program. Okay, now look at this program. It's a bit different from what we've been looking at before. What we've been looking at before is whenever we write code, it always executes execute the, this line, execute the next 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 line until it terminates. So we, if we were writing, if we had written this um, uh, code without the if else block, we expect this to be uh, written, uh, to be displayed, the value of x is less than 10, to be displayed on the console, and also the value of x is greater than 10 to be displayed on the console. However, that is not going to happen. Remember how the if else, the way I explained the if else uh, statement. The way the if else statement works is, this is a Boolean expression. What does this evaluate to? For this particular code, remember what we stored inside x. We stored the value 5. So this Boolean expression, x is less than 10, is going to, when you substitute uh, x with 5, that's 5 is inside x. So um, 5 will be substituted here. 5 is less than 10. It's true. Okay. So this block is going to be executed. Okay, and this block is going to be ignored. So the moment uh, this block is executed, the moment it exits here, it will not execute this. It will ignore it and the program will end. Okay, let's run that and see what happens. Okay, so I've just hit on play to run our program. And exactly, look at what it says. The value of X is less than 10. And we that is the end of the program. Okay. Um, which means this was not this statement was not executed okay because this evaluated to true now imagine if we change this to 11 okay let's change this to 11 now what happens I'll go ahead and save what happens notice what happens 11 is less than 10 this statement automatically uh, immediately turns to false because 11 is not less than 10 okay 11 less is less than 10 is a false um, uh, Boolean expression. It evaluates to false, which causes the program to, to ignore this uh, block. Okay, so this will not be executed. However, the else block will be executed, meaning this statement is going to be uh, executed. So we expect to see the value of X is greater than 10. So let's run this program and see what happens. And voila the value of x is greater than 10, okay? And uh, if you notice, the first um, uh, statement was not executed. That's this one. The value of x is less than 10. That was not executed, so it's not displayed, okay? That is how the if-else block work. I'm going to stop this, program, uh, this um, lesson here, even though there are still some... Um, uh, some uh, aspects of the if-else block we haven't look at, looked at. For example, you can have nested if-else uh, statements. You can have if, if-else, 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 as many as you have, uh, as many as you like, and then at the end, else uh, block, okay? Um, I just want you to take away this because this is very, very important and it's one of the most important called control structures in uh, any programming language and most programming languages they are all the same. The if else construct are all the same. So uh, I'll go ahead and stop this here, hoping you've grabbed and you've understood what um, uh, what we just fitted here.